I will go and take Trump out tonight. Take him out now. Okay. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Please. Get up in the face of some Congress people. People will do what they do. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. We're going to go in there, we're going to the <laughs> well, This is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. And for those of you who are soldiers, make them pay. Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. So, you know, it seems like every couple of days I'm doing a video about how impressed I am with Speaker Mike Johnson. And I, I keep waiting for him to do something or say something that really makes him look like just a typical rhino. But that hasn't happened yet. He just keeps making these announcements and keeps <laughs> saying these things in press conferences that really, really, really piss off the left. And as long as he keeps doing that, man, I am on board. And he just did it again when he was asked about releasing all the video footage for the January 6th riot, which is what it was. And he thinks the American public deserves to see everything that happened and to not have some narrative stuffed down their throats, but to actually be able to see everything that they care to see. They can look at whatever they want. They don't have to look. They can care. They don't care. Whatever. But he wants them to be able to draw their own conclusions and make up their own mind without some powerful forces in government or corrupt forces in media distilling their thoughts for them. And who could possibly disagree with that? Nobody reasonable can disagree with that. The only people who could disagree with that are powerful forces in government and corrupt forces in media. Now, obviously, it goes without saying, man, that a lot of bad things happened on that day. And the things that we have been shown by the government and by the media, they're terrible and they should have never happened. There's a of course, a million reasons why it did happen, and there's a ton of blame to go around. Everyone is to blame. But it, regardless of all that, it should have never happened, right? I think we can all agree on that. Everyone sensible and reasonable can agree on that. But that's not what Johnson was talking about. Johnson is talking about how what we've seen and what we haven't seen, even more importantly, and he's talking about, you know, he's saying that a lot of the things that you've seen are true. But he's also saying there's a lot of things that have been hidden from you. And there's a lot of things that we've been told that may or may not be the full truth, right? And here's what he said about releasing the tapes that really, really, really triggered the liberals. I'm going to show it to you. See if you can pick up what really upset them. You released the uh, video tapes, the video from January 6th. You talked about people withholding data to advance a partisan narrative. What, what do you think is incorrect about the narrative around that day? And what do you think is accurate? We'd have to be here for a long time for me to unpack that. Look, I, I think the January 6th committee was a partisan exercise. Uh, they, they, they claimed that it was bipartisan, but I think we all recognize that the, the two Republican members that served on that uh, committee uh, had another agenda. I, I think that what we got was a biased report. I think they hid some of the uh, important evidence. And uh, look, we want the American people to draw their own conclusions. I don't think partisan elected officials in Washington should present a narrative and expect that it should be uh, seen as, as the ultimate truth on it when we know that they hid certain elements. The release of the January 6th tapes was in a critical and important uh, exercise. We want transparency. We should demand that the American people do. We trust, House Republicans trust the American people to draw their own conclusions. We should not, they should not be dictated by some narrative and accept that as fact. So they can review the tapes themselves. Uh, we're going through a methodical process of releasing them as quickly as we can. As you know, we have to blur some of the faces of persons who uh, participated in, in, uh, in the events of that day because we don't want them to be retaliated against and, uh, and, and, and to be charged by the DOJ and, and to have other uh, you know, concerns and problems. So uh, that's a slow process to get it done. We're working steadily on it. We've hired additional personnel to do that. And uh, all of those tapes ultimately at the end will, will be out so everybody can see them and draw their own conclusion. Let me go to the background. Yeah, so it is impossible to argue with that. And, and here's what upset the left so bad about this process and what the man just said. They're upset that he would dare release tapes out into the universe, tapes that everyone can use to 
attack their neighbors and attack people at work. He's upset that they would blur the faces of people that have or have not been charged. Because the left believes, they honestly believe that every single person that would dare to have been at the Capitol on that day should be shunned, should be outed, should be literally destroyed for the rest of their lives. Destroyed. And this is what they want. You know, even if those people haven't actually committed a crime, they want them ruined. And if you turn on any talking head asshole on any liberal network, you'll see them complaining about the face blurring process. And remember, when you see this, you know, these are the same people who treated $2 billion in property damage, thousands of people injured, dozens of people killed in the summer of 2020, like it was some beautiful, peaceful display of true democracy, that no one should be held accountable for any of it. These people don't care about justice. They don't care about law, and they definitely don't care about democracy. They care about power, they care about control, and they care about retribution. And that's all I got, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. It really helps us to grow. And we'll see you in the next one.